Hey YouTube, it's Jared, and today we're going to be reacting to some Eurovision. Let's do it. Before we get started, if you want to keep up to date with all of my reaction videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, please and thank you. So today we head over to Finland where they've had their national selection, UMK23. The winner has been announced as Karia singing the song Cha Cha Cha. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? So there's a lot of hype about this entry, this song. It's one of the fan favourites to win the entire show this year. I'm very excited to get stuck into this. At UMK, he won the jury vote and he won the telly vote. He, he won over 50% of the telly vote. Even if you added up second, third, fourth and fifth place, their points would not have been enough to topple careers. So, wow, he won this on a landslide. It was clear that the people wanted him. He is universally loved. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> National final performance. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's been about ten seconds already. We've had we've had nipples, we've had interesting camera angles, we've had a green puffer jacket? crop top puffer jacket uh kicking over pallets and here come the dancers uh what? uh i i don't know what's happening <laughs> the voice is very interesting the the camera angles are very interesting just the whole the whole plot that's happening here is very very surreal i'm not really sure what to think about this which is great for an entry okay great so it's a catchy chorus that's straight away what you need i love the fabric that's connected from him towards the dancers it reminds me very much of a sertab erinair every way that i can she was the winner in 2003 uh so symbolically it's beautiful Oh, this is a bit racy, isn't it? This is a bit... <laughs> don't really know what's going on with the palace. This is, a, this is a lot of wood for one performance. I don't know if there's a, a rule at Eurovision about how much wood you can take on stage. I will say this, he has a lot of charisma, like he, he's commanding a lot of attention, he's got quite a lot of star power on that stage, even the dancers' expressions is very over the top. Okay, we are getting a lot of tongue action, again, I don't know how peachy this is, um, this is just, this is chaotic, this is messy and I love it. It's, it's something. <laughs> we are incorporating a lot of musical elements in this. I'm getting what looks like there's rap in there. Seems like a bit of heavy metal in there. We've now got pop in there. This is just, he's smushed so many things into one performance. I don't know how he's done it, but he's done it. What are they doing? As well as multiple music styles, we apparently seem to be incorporating movies such as a human centipede. Which <laughs> it's really catchy, it's really addictive. This chorus uh, is one that will get stuck in your head and it's the audience are loving every second of this. Uh, this is definitely a kind of party anthem. Uh, so I can see why this is a favourite to win. <laughs> it kind of sounds like he's saying chop and he's signalling towards the wood, so...
I don't really know what to think right now. I'm a bit confused. Just for research reasons, I'm gonna listen to it one more time. <laughs> Yeah, so that wasn't a fever dream, that actually happened. Oh my goodness. My head. <laughs> so there is a lot to unpack here, but I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet. Uh, it's an interesting take whether this is seen as a serious entry or as a joke entry, which I think will be a kind of conversation between the Eurovision fans themselves. I quite enjoy that it's a song that seems to take itself very seriously in terms of the heavy music, the, the intensity on the stage, the facial expressions, the way he delivers most of the lines, and then it goes the complete opposite way and we get absolute over-the-top camp fun weird. <laughs> The staging is so random, I don't really understand the correlation. I actually did pick up the kind of boxing ring layout he had with the fabric connected to the dancers. I didn't really understand the palettes. Maybe he was in a factory somewhere, I don't really know. But it was just so random and interesting and very entertaining. Carrier's stage presence, uh, wow, it's, it's, it's up there. You know, he's very charismatic, he's very funny, he's aloof, he just glides across that stage. I don't know the best way to explain this, but... He just kind of carries this raw, animalistic energy and you really feel like you're gonna get like a wolf or like a, a bear and then you get this cute puppy and it's... it's, <laughs> it's the backup dancers, fair play to them. They had high energy throughout the entire performance. Facial expressions, movements, very, very talented. Love that it was sung in Finnish. Uh, don't speak a word of it, but I will be chanting cha-cha-cha throughout the entire song. Now and then in Eurovision you get those kind of acts where it's unique, no one else is really doing it and it stands out whether it's for the right reason or the wrong reason uh, but I think that's part of the charm of Eurovision, you never know what you're going to expect and this is a very very smart entry. The staging compared to the outfits there's no correlation, it's gone from, it's quite minimalist compared to <laughs> high camp and despite the fact that there's 27 different genres of music in this three minute performance, the shift between them, it's, it's effortless and it's just, it's so catchy. I can absolutely see why this is one of the favourites to win and you know what, after watching it twice, I can completely see a win for Finland from this. I think the public are going to love it, the crowd is going to go crazy in Liverpool. Whether the juries are going to be on the same level, that's my only concern. I don't see how they can hate this. This is everything you could possibly want crammed into one small production. Well done, Finland. You've really created something special here. So that's what I thought of the Finnish entry. What do you think? Are you a fan of this chaos or do you prefer what Finland have sent previously? Do you see a win for Finland in the cards? Let me know down there in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.